This is a continuation of the long-term project where I'm looking to simulate a plain old telephone service central office system so I can simulate having a phone line and connect one phone or modem or something else represented in one household through the project central office simulator and have it connect over to another central office and ultimately another phone or modem in another home. One available module that really simplifies interfacing with telephones is the subscriber line interface circuit module. And I'm working toward putting one of these to use. I already have made an evaluation breakout board for this to hook up telephones and make them ring and otherwise provide the power they need, the same way a central office provides these local loop circuits powering the phones and generating the call progress tones you hear when you're making a call, and ultimately connecting your call to another target phone. Working toward getting all of this integrated into a functional system, so far I had been working on these call progress tones using the Mozzie sound synthesizer so that we can generate a dial tone, busy tone, ring tone, or the off hook noise if you leave the phone off the hook too long. And then for each tone I was manually controlling how long the tone is on or off in dedicated functions just to see that it works. So to get that information, I looked on the internet, found information about the frequencies and the on-off cadence patterns of these tones, but I wanted to optimize this sketch. First of all, it's getting a bit long and all it's doing is generating tones so far. And also, I'd like to just have simplified functions that can generate whatever tone I want instead of having these dedicated ones. So now I started splitting the project sketch up into multiple files with one main sketch. And then I attempted to make a library dedicated to using Mozzie to generate call progress tones. And since I don't really know what I'm doing, I created this other header file here. So I can include this in any other files where I need to define geographical regions for generating the call progress tones in different areas. I ran into some problems trying to coordinate this between the different separate files. So in the call progress library, for example, now I just include that project globals, and now it knows what I mean by North America or UK regions. And looking at the header for this call progress, I'm not sure if I can call it a library, but the way I set it up, I can start generating a ringtone, dial tone, busy tone, or off hook tone using Mozzie. And no matter which one is playing, I can also just tell it to stop playing altogether. And of course, there's an initialization to do some configuring when I power up including which region am I trying to simulate. And also, from the main loop in the top level sketch, I need to periodically call this update function, which is what Mozzie needs in the first place, so that throughout the main loop, you go in and you let Mozzie get some more audio samples and send them out to the DAC on the ESP8266. And for me generating ringtones, this goes in and checks all the timers to see if it's time to start doing something different. So this made everything a lot cleaner. And looking down in the actual call progress functions in that library, all of this used to be in the main sketch. So it just started getting too complicated, and this is much better to separate out. So for now, I'm setting this up to generate the call progress tones for North America and the UK, and that's controlled from the main sketch when compiling by just setting a region byte. So this has a lot of the things needed by Mozzie in general. And for anything I'm specifically doing, I set this up so that every type of tone, like ringtone or dial tone, can have four frequencies configured and four different parts of an overall cadence of on and off sounds while generating this pattern. And that should let me configure any of these tones where I need two frequencies, up to four simultaneous frequencies for the off hook tone, and I can set it up for a cadence with up to four steps of on, off, on, off, where the tone is playing or silent. So those are initially all set to zero, and I configure those later as needed. 
we still have our four sine wave oscillators that we can use to generate these call progress tones. And in the main sketch, when we initialize this mozzie call progress library, we tell this library what region we want to configure tones for. So then there's different functions. For example, the North American initialization will go and set the frequencies and the cadence patterns to generate ringtones, dial tones, etc. for North America. Or if I say I'm in the UK, I'll just go and configure the specific patterns for the UK. And I'm using negative one as a cadence number in any situation where the tone is just going to play constantly instead of on and off. For the UK busy tone, I still have an older comment here that I was using three quarters of a second on and then three quarters of a second off for the busy tone. But then I read somewhere else this is an older pattern and the current pattern is a shorter 375 milliseconds on and off. So that's what we're actually going to generate. For the UK off hook tone, I read it could be several different things, but telephone lines provided by a couple of providers tend to use the American tones. So to keep things simple, I'm just using the North American off-hook tone for the UK as well. So when I initialize the call progress library, that's where I go and based on the region, I configure all those tones depending where I said I want to be configured for. And I have to call this update function regularly in my main loop. So one thing that this does is call the mozzie audio hook function, which is needed to go and actually keep sending audio samples out to the DAC. But it's also where I go and figure out if I'm currently trying to play a call progress tone or not. So if I know that I'm supposed to be playing a tone, if the tone is meant to be playing constantly instead of on and off, I just keep audio on and it just keeps generating that combination of sine waves. If I'm playing a tone and it's not constantly on, then I go and figure out, am I supposed to be playing the tone or keeping it silent right now? And I will mute or enable the audio. So to show how I'm making use of all of these frequency and cadence timing variables so that I can make a universal UK or North America signal, just looking at ringtone specifically, we have four ringtone frequencies defined and four ringtone cadences. So if I want to start generating the ringtone from the main sketch, I call this ringtone start function. And what it does is go and set the actual mozzie sine wave oscillator frequencies to whatever the configured ringtone frequencies are for the region that I wanted, as well as the on and off cadence timing pattern for this ringtone. So that goes into a cadence array of four numbers representing how long we play the tone, how long we are quiet, and if necessary, how long we play the tone again and how long we're quiet again before starting over. So once I've initiated playing back one of these call progress tones, my main loop is calling this update function and when we are playing a tone with a cadence pattern, I'm tracking which of these four cadence periods of the cycle we are in. So if we are just starting to play this back, we're at cadence zero. And whatever this number is here that represents how many milliseconds to play the sound, we're comparing an ongoing timer to that cadence number. And as long as we are either in cadence pattern zero or two, audio should be playing in those time periods. And so we're just doing math here because zero and two can both be considered even numbers. So if we're on an even number cadence step, audio should be playing. And if it's an odd number, so that would be cadence period one or three, we are supposed to be silent, so audio is off. So this timer here just keeps advancing to the next cadence step when each duration ends and we control if we're playing the audio or not. So this helps make these functions more universal. If we want to generate a certain tone, all we need to do is configure the frequencies and the durations for a given geography and it will just work whether we have only one frequency, two frequencies, four frequencies, constant sounding tone, certain on and off pattern or a different on and off pattern. It's just 
all taken care of. So now looking at the main sketch, it's a lot cleaner. So we're including this Mozzie Call Progress library, and we want to be able to know what North America and UK refer to, so we're including this definition file. And this is where I set up when compiling whether I want North America or UK tones, or if I add more later, I can do that here. So I just uncomment whichever one I want, and I'm working on some future things. I'm going to need an interrupt pin because I'm going to have a GPIO expander to control some other stuff later. I'm not really working with it right now. And I'm also, for now, cycling through the call progress tones based on receiving a certain serial port character in the serial monitor. So I set this as a global variable. Now I just create my call progress generator based on the region I want. And in the setup, I call the initialization routine for the call progress generator. So it goes in and figures out what region I wanted and then configures all the tones for that. So now in the main loop, I'm checking the serial monitor to see if I received a character. Otherwise, I'm just running this update for the call progress generator, which goes and tells Mozzie, continue sending audio out if needed, and control the tone patterns if I'm generating tones. It's all just one line here. And now the rest of the sketch is really the beginnings of a state machine that I'm going to need as I continue making this project grow. So for now, it's just a little test state machine. When I power up the unit, if I want to do any first run tasks, I can do it in startup state. Otherwise, when nothing's happening, I want to be in an idle state waiting for a command. And then when I get characters from the serial monitor, I want to cycle between generating a ringtone, dial tone, busy tone, off hook tone, and then back to the idle state where there's silence. And I tried using some Arduino state machine libraries, and on their own, they worked. And they made things a lot cleaner, like just having a bunch of definitions similar to this. So you can say in each state, which one do you want to transition to next? And what function will go and do the routines relevant to that state? And it just looks clean. But when it came down to it, it caused Mozzie audio output to start stuttering. So they must both be trying to use the same timer resources or something. It's just clashing. So I'm just doing this with switch cases, brute force, which is fine. I just need it to work. So when I first run this sketch, the current state is going to be startup. And in startup, all I'm really doing is saying I'm in startup as a debug message and then set it to transition to the idle state. So then it comes here the next time through the main loop. And in case I want to do certain things when first changing to a new state, I have this flag I set to true when I'm going to go to a new state. And then when I first run that new state each time, if this is the first time into this state right now, I can do specific things that I only want to do once. Otherwise, as the main loop keeps running and I keep calling this idle state, all I'm doing is waiting to see, did a serial character come in? That's a lowercase n. If so, I want to go to whatever the next state is that I assigned. And in this case, I want to jump from idle to generating a ringtone. And because I'm about to switch to a new state, I set that flag to true in case I want to do anything just once when I change to ringtones. If I didn't get a serial n, then I'm just in the idle state still, so I keep the current state as idle. So when it's time to go to ringtone state, and I've come here for the first time right now, I just print out a confirmation message that I'm in the ringtone state, and I start generating the ringtone out in this call progress library. So now in the main loop, whenever I go and update call progress, it will know I'm generating a ringtone and it will do what it needs to do. Mozzie will generate audio and so on. And now since I initialized this on the first entrance into this ringtone state, it's no longer the first run, so I'm going to set the flag to not entering a new state. And again, I'm just going to stay in the ringtone state, keeping it as the current state, until on the serial monitor I get another lowercase n. Then I will stop generating the ringtone, and I will want to start generating a dial tone, so that will be the new state. Then we go back to the main loop. Next time we come in, we should be in this dial tone state, and we do the same thing, and it's the same for the busy tone, 
and off hook tone every time we get a lowercase n we switch states but the off hook tone is the last one so this time when we get the lowercase n the current state is going to switch to idle after we stop generating off hook tone and that brings us back up here we're not generating any sounds and we're still waiting for n in the serial monitor to start over generating a ringtone doing things that way it makes it a lot cleaner and easier to keep expanding on this project adding more features and soon I will be moving toward actually trying to get the phone line itself connecting to a phone for testing and I have all of these GPIO signals here I'm going to hook up to a GPIO expander and connect that up to the ESP8266 and continue making a central office